And a warm witchy welcome to Kerrid Wynn's Crime, Cold Case and Mystery Tarot and Psychic Energy Session. Disclaimer, this video and the whole of its content is for entertainment purposes only. This is based on my spiritual perspective and perception only. It is not all based on fact. Please do your research and draw upon your own conclusions. And please not spread hate or harassment following this video. Okay, so we're going to be looking at the case of Michael Vaughan. He was age five at the time of his disappearance in July 2021, so just over a year ago. He went missing from his home address in Fruitland, Idaho. And there seemed to have been a 20-minute approximate window that he disappeared in. So, um, there were family members at the home um, before he did go missing. And there we go. So, we're getting the energy in. It says at home. So, that's good. That's linking in with what I am saying. Um, and I think there was, like, distractions in the house as well. Um the last people recall is he was playing on his Nintendo Switch and then this time sort of went by and he had either gone outside to play. Um, so we're just going to have a look what comes out. So let's see what we have here. This energy is not the easiest energy to read, but we're going to keep going with it and see what comes out. Okay. So, can you show us anything about Michael's disappearance? Can you show us anything about the perpetrator? Anything about the perpetrator? Any type of clues? What type of perpetrator this is? Can you please? Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so this key word is prostitution. So this is something to do with like sexual gratification. Now I'm going to ask, um, can you please confirm if the parents had anything to do with Michael's disappearance? Because I don't feel that they did. So can you just confirm for me? No. So there's a no there and remember, you know, this is not to be taken, you know, as fact or truth. Can you give us some more information, please, on the perpetrator? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Can you just give us more indicators, please, about the perpetrator? Can you give us any type? Did they know the family in any way? Um, were they local? Were they um, people that may have been connected in any way? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. So, we just want to try and get as much energy as we can, Spirit, to see if there's any clues what um, was behind Michael's disappearance. Anything to do with the perpetrator, um, any type of energy around the situation. Um, and also, you know, if there's any clues or indicators. Because what I keep getting as I'm shuffling these is that it was like swift, quick, sudden. And I do feel he was outside and I feel swift, quick, sudden. So I just need more energy to see where we go with this. Quick, swift and sudden. Quick, swift, sudden. Can you give us more information, please? Because it's funny, because what I am feeling is, it's almost like I'm getting that, um, oh, here we go, we got drugs and alcohol. So the perpetrator, there's definitely a tie with him to do with drugs, alcohol or both. So there's some um, substance misuse background with this person. Because I keep feeling turned, they turned back around. They turned.
turned back around. And I'm feeling it's a vehicle. And what I sense is, is that this was like at the end of his street is what I'm feeling. <clears throat> it was like he, he was in the street and I see someone go past him. And look, he did try to run away at one point, yes. And then, look, this person has an offending history. This person has some type of offending history. So what we've got, we've got like that prostitution energy where there was like that sexual type of energy, drugs and alcohol. This person has got an offend, um, is a repeat or has been an offender. So we're getting some indications. And I'm feeling, I just keep seeing. It's like he, I'm feeling like he tried to pull away. But this was at the end of the road is what I'm sensing. What have we got here? Okay, I'm not going to show that card because I think it's a bit too um, sensitive for the situation. So I'm going to blank that out at the end of the video. So the showing sees at home, there's confirmation he was at home. See, human trafficking. Now, when I get that, it means like an abduction and, and sort of trafficked for a purpose. Then we have now serial. Now, where it says serial killer there, that is a serial offender as well. So this person has got some type of rap sheet. Um... Was he visiting in the area? Was he visiting someone else in the area? West. Was he visiting someone else in that area? And then maybe he was driving past. The thought came in his mind when he seen him. Double back around, an opportunity. I just feel opportunity in this. This was opportunity. So let's have a look. A male. So that's confirming when I keep saying he, that is a male. He was able to cover the situation up. He kept him alive. I pray that he is alive. But I don't know what that could mean. It could mean he was alive for a while. I don't know. Look, abducted, the perpetrator turned back around, watched. So that could indicate that he's either watched Michael before or he's seen him, scoped it out in that opportunity, property property so whoever this was took him took him back to a property it's definitely the end of the road is what i'm feeling i'm not going to show that card like i said because it's very sensitive so i'm going to blank that out Okay, so the cards are indicating that this was an abduction. This is somebody who transported him. This was an opportunity. They had potentially watched him before or seen him before or in that moment turned back around and quickly um, snatched him. 
you try to pull away from the person's grasp um this person has a person has a past offending history so i would say something around to do with um sex offending and i would also say as well that um this person has possibly possibly been incarcerated before charged or um has been in trouble with the police um the energy i get is that his mum is never going to stop she still holds a lot of hope that he is alive she is going to stay strong in her conviction in this oh what have we got coming out we'll have a look here look at this a distraught mother her gut feeling tells her a lot and she knows she's an imperfect human and she made many mistakes in life but look what we're talking about her she's distraught and it's like strange how I was picking up on the mother and then this shows up and it looks like he's been taken away there from the family and look they the mother standing strong to her conviction, always hoping. So I would say, um, looking at these now, we would have someone here. So this person looks like the... Now, this won't look like a prison to all of you, but what I'm seeing you is a room with a window, with a single bed and a desk. So that could be that this person um, has come out of prison and if you look in the background here, you'll see like a window looking out. He sat at the desk and a single bed. And then there's some like objects that I was pointing to there that sort of allude into some um, unsavoury energy shall I say, around him. So we'll keep looking and see if there's anything else. Because I'm wondering if this person was visiting someone else and they spotted Michael outside, checked, turned quick. I don't know, maybe I'm entirely wrong on all of this, but something... I just keep feeling it's the end of the road, the end of the road. There's a vehicle. There's definitely a vehicle involved. I keep getting, like, um, I don't know whether it looks like dirty or a light grey. I don't know. Yeah, see, Predator. Every time I see this card, it is like predator. This person is a predator. Horrible. Okay, what else have we got? It's a strange card. This person mingles, I would say, with like minds probably has like an inferiority complex of some kind needing to elevate their power um i would say this is sort of if you come across this person i would say they're quite um well evil and weak-minded This shows here that this person has felt a sense of freedom. So again, maybe they should look at someone who might have been released over the last year, maybe. Um, this is someone who's doing some type of manual skills, maybe earning cash in hand. Um, 
maybe working as a carpenter, maybe he's learned some skills in prison, I don't know. And then it's just like, I would say this person is potentially someone who can be a loner. This here is showing me I'm feeling like mum and dad but sticking together in this. And in that background, there's a figure. So it's like, this is a really difficult situation to read and I'm trying to get as many signs as I can. So we'll just keep trying and see where we get with it. And if we don't get much more, then I will um, stop. But I'm definitely keep getting an abductor. It's like an offender, an unsavoury character. Look, see, Ugh, this person, they can't even look at themselves. So this would tell me that this person, mm, this person could be a and a dial, like a crocodile. This person's haunted by their actions as well. Mm. I don't know. I'm getting here that whoever this is, They probably haven't gone back to that area. I would say they're keeping a very low profile. See, look at them. It's like pretending to be one thing and then painting the devil. So, like, are they pretending they're reformed and they're keeping, keeping that act up? Or could that mean they? You know, when I said about, like, carpentry, it could be someone who paints and decorates. Someone who has, you know, been earning money doing that. Somebody who even contemplates at times. So this person has severe type, I would say, mental health disorder in terms of they may have tried or attempted to, you know what, from that card. So I'm just going... So I'll have one more look at these and then that'll be it then I'm going to sort of stop because I am trying hard and I'm trying to piece together as much as I can. So Spirit, can you just see if there's anything in these cards you want to show us? So what have we got? Hive event. So this person is a repeat offender and then ends up then wrapped with, I'm not even, I can't, I can't even go there because I don't believe they're remorseful. See, look, they have been in prison, That's, that to me is showing some type of like incarceration and then look I would say that's little Michael very strong and then the family he loved his family definitely loved his family because that family card went over him he enjoyed his family And, you know, even looking at that family card, I think there's been, like, you know, obviously since all this happened, there's been a lot of strain and probably, I would say as well, that, um, I wouldn't have, you know, money, it shows him, money was tight, but he still loved his family. Okay, come on, anything else? Okay, what have we got? 
What have we got? See, devil. I think it was like that shows like the the compulsion, the drive can't cope with being able to stop themselves from doing what they do. And then it's here is showing probably that in their past that they have um potentially um may have this stuff may have also happened for to them but like I said it's like one of those things it's like if they know they're sick they should come forward and ask for help before they do such things so I'm going to leave a year because I'm not really getting much else it's just showing like the home and the family so I uh, thank you for watching and I hope you have a lovely morning, noon or night, wherever you are around the world and blessings from Caridwyn.